Hey guys, we're back with some more Cities Skylines. And yeah, I think it's fair to say we uh, didn't get off to the best of starts in the previous episode. I'm still not really sure what actually happened. Hugo in the comments suggested that there wasn't a problem with my water system. It was more a case that my citizens were sick and that I didn't have enough hospital or medical cover in and it was too late by the time I put it in. Now, I tried to replicate it off camera using the same layout and I wasn't able to replicate it myself. There was a residential area which was slightly uphill, I guess you'd call it, to some of the other ones. And I did wonder like whether or not there was an issue where all my wastewater was flowing back down the pipes and contaminating the residents in the lower area, but I don't think that was the case. And like I said, I wasn't able to replicate it when I set it all up again, roughly the same. Now, I did try and have another test in another area, and I was getting exactly the same thing, but I was able to identify what the problem was there. That was more a case that I'd set up a water pump and a, the water waste and the water pump was sucking up the wastewater because they were too close together. So that wasn't the issue. But yeah, it's really strange. I, I don't know. I was getting the same icons, the same notifications about there was a problem with the, the dirty water, but Hugo didn't seem to think that. So yeah, still at a bit of a loss as to what that actually was. But um, anyway, that's... Um, water under the bridge as so to speak we're gonna start a another new town because i didn't see the point in saving that one it was completely dead so yeah we're gonna use the same environment and we're gonna call this one knockville rather than new boston i was thinking new new boston but i mean that would be quite funny but i don't think it was right uh, anyway let's create knockville and uh, let's take our time a little bit more i suppose this time around all righty then here we go. Let's get cracking. Um, definitely going to try and take a bit more time this time. Not rush into things as much. And pay attention to these resource demand meters down here. Something I completely ignored in my previous playthrough. I was just building for the sake of building and wasn't actually looking to see what the demands were. So yeah, we're going to definitely um, look at that. The very British thing to do here would be, of course, to uh, make a roundabout. Uh, actually, let's dezone some of that. Yes, we're going to just carry on some roads so we have access through. Unless we're going to hook it up at the minute. But it's best to put the roads in place first before we zone, because or else people are going to start... Um, residents aren't going to like it when we start dezoning stuff. And putting roads in the middle so let's have the roads in place first and foremost okay i need to seriously look at the power options here i was very much like using wind before i think i got up to like three turbines which is so three turbines about the same cost as building the coal power plant but the power plant is just over double yeah the, the coal power plant is just over double to run so we could have seven wind turbines for the weekly upkeep of the coal power plant okay that's that's interesting where are the best places to put these i mean we've got some real windy areas here generate up to eight megawatts there's some like some like coastal turbines just like around here i'm gonna put two in i know the demand's not gonna be there for two for a start but i think Putting two in is probably a good idea, so we don't then have to worry too much about the wind power. All right, next up, we need to look at the water. So, two forty a week. Clearly, the water pumping station is a lot more efficient than the water tower that I used before. It's the same weekly upkeep but it's a thousand dollars cheaper generates the same noise pollution but its pumping capacity is double that of the water tower so it's a no-brainer isn't it is there a way to see 
like the flow of the water. Obviously, I'm quite aware that I don't want to be taking water out and then pumping the wastewater back in there. Okay, it looks like it's flowing this way through. So it would make sense then to build our uh, pumping station. Ah, oh, there we go. Now it's telling me. Yeah, okay. So it makes sense then to build our pumping station here. And then we're going to want to have... I mean, in effect, this is going to just take it all the way down, right? Away from the sea. So, I mean... Does it really matter? I mean, it would make sense to put it here. So I'll do it. We'll, we'll place it here for a start. And then, if we then need to move it for whatever reason, um, that'll be fine. But I think the water is just basically going to get carried down the river. So we'll be pumping in here. Although it'll be kicking it out there, it will sort of flow down there. So I think that will be fine. Now we just need to add some pipes. Before we do anything though, I know for a fact our water budget is way higher than what we need a minute, as is our electric. So let's lower our costs for a start. Let's go for 70, about 70 odd percent capacity on that. So that gives us nine megawatts at the minute. So that's going to be fine, I think, for the time being. Everything looks like it's hooked up. Okay, so we're starting to get a bit of demand here for commercial. So I think I'm, I'm going to do what I said here. Yeah, let, let's put some commercial all the way around our roundabout here. Next up, there's a bit of demand coming for industry. So let's build like an industry. Right over here. Yeah, we're going to have to bring the pipes over as well. Just one of them though, I think. I should cover the whole of the industry at the minute. Actually, it's probably best just to cover the whole thing. For the time being, temporarily, we're going to have to make some... I have to connect this up over here. like that and here comes the traffic I like that industry area like built on the hill there looks pretty cool seems like there is still more demand for industry though and there is a little bit of demand also now creeping in for a little bit more residential so we'll simply do that and then create another area Like that. It's a bit more demand for commercial, but we have still got some commercial areas over here which haven't been completed yet. I mean, why don't we just make this whole center of this roundabout here commercial? So we are short now over here. If we run another pipe off like here, go all the way across like so. I think it's probably like the, the best way to kind of do this is to maybe just run the pipes off in sections. I do just want to check as well. I don't think we can check at the minute. I wanted to check the... Um, I don't have it as a visual yet. Check like the pollution. But it does not like we can do that just yet. Okay, residential is still skyrocketing. We need more residential. I'm just like a bit worried that Every time I'm building, it's just in like square kind of box. And it gets a little bit samey samey, I guess, which I'm a little bit concerned about. Okay, we're getting a demand here for residential industrial. Let's just check. We're borderline on the power, so we're going to need to up our our budget here so we need a little bit more industrial by the looks of it so i think let's do a little bit in this way maybe i should start using 
sidewalks. Try and encourage people to walk more. Let's try using these roads. Okay, what is the actual difference between... I suppose the path is a bit wider, or the sidewalk, if you want to call it sidewalk. Let's carry on a little bit. Let's just keep it on power for a minute. Okay, we're at 16, that's fine. We just doubled our capacity, basically, by giving the budget back. Okay, we made the 440 achievement. So now we have the ability to do taxes and loans, garbage and health care. So let's get these three things in place quickly. Now, let's think about this. Put our school there. Let's relocate. I know it's going to make people un pop unhappy for momentarily. Oh no. That's good. Alright, so we're not going to build anything else here. We're just going to like leave the school and I'm sure eventually we'll get some decorations that we can put in there. Now we want our hospital. Maybe we have landfill like all the way out here. Maybe by the pumping station would be good. So well, let's get fancy with the roads. Get a road light to here. Let me curve it. Real fancy look. Look at that curved road. Thing of beauty that is. I mean, it's far enough away from the residential as long as they don't build anything else there. Let's do it here because I think if we build here. We then still have like all this area here that's not going to be impacted by pollution, which I guess that is. Okay, we're losing money. Now this could be to do with healthcare. We've got no six citizens, so I think we can actually let's reduce the budget down. Fifty percent for the time being. I think garbage is probably an important one to keep where it is for the time being education so we've we can drum we can pull down the education budget a little bit i'm just looking at like the the cash flow at the minute and the cash flow is going down just for the time being so yeah i mean that's added like another 500 dollars per month onto our expenditure with adding the hospital the school and the garbage so yeah, let's let's leave it at 92. Okay, we seem to be at, at about a good level here. Our income is slowly going up. Well, let's increase capacity just a little bit more. See, there's still a massive demand for residentials here. Housing demand is crazy. Okay, electricity. Is it time to make a new turbine? I think possibly. We are going to be pretty much out of money after this, though. So now we need to just sit back and um, hope that we get some money coming in. All right, our budget is pretty much inadequate now. We're going to have to up a little bit. We have just built more housing. All right, demand for commercial and industrial is going up again. And residential is just like... Okay, water's now starting to become a bit of a issue as well. Potentially, we might need to start increasing the budget on the water. Let's up the industrial tax a little bit as well. I, I, I said this last time. I think industrial should definitely be paying a little bit more. Let's go for 10% commercial. 12% on industrial. Why was the industrial not happy? I suppose competition, maybe. Not happy about that. One more residential. I'm, I'm a little bit like wary of this because. I, oh, I'm on upgrade. Sorry, that's the wrong thing. Yeah, I'm a little bit wary of this because. 
I know the demand there is there for the residential housing. Uh, I'm, I'm worried that, like, no, oh, I ran out of money to buy there. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, what's not fine is the fact that I have just deleted the power line, so that could be problematic. Yeah, I'm a little, like, worried about... I mean, I guess I'm getting to sort of, like, my peak now. I guess I'm getting to a, a stage where I've got to sort of rein it in or else I'm going to have no money left. So... Yeah, and we're on a citywide blackout now, which is terrible. Um, power cable, please. There we go. Should sort the blackout out. Cool. That's sorted. Okay, we've reached a worthy village. So we've got some new industry specializations, some new policies, a police station and firehouse. Oh, do you get... Do you also get money for reaching this as well? It kind of looks like you get like a monetary bonus. So with the police and fire. Water. We're going to have to give more budget to water, I am afraid. Give them another 15%. Healthcare. Okay, we're all in the bubble with education because we have just zoned all of that new residential. Which, nice, the, the demand is going down now. That's good. Healthcare, I mean, we haven't got any six citizens. I mean, healthcare is still only very, very low at the moment. I think the thing to do now, let's get a fire station and a police station in. And then just maybe hold safe for a bit. Wait, did I just... Oh, I just built another freaking... I just built completely the wrong thing. Fire station. Ah. Uh, now I haven't got enough money for the police. <laughs> How much do I need for that? Power consumption is a big yikes. Rather than building more, though, let's give a little bit more budget to electricity for the time being. This is another four. Another level. I can't speak. Another four kilowatts for each of those. Okay, we've got a 12,000. Let's build the police station. Okay, so now we are completely out of money. So I guess now we just got to... We've got to see how things are going. Check our capacity. Schooling is starting to dwindle again. Water's fine. Electricity. Yeah. Comfortable with that. Let's give it another 10%. Just trying to, like, save us from buying anything at the minute. Just trying to squeeze, like, as much out of these structures and things as I can. We've got a low crime rate at the minute, and we have that. Also, I want to look, take a look at policies. So let's have smoke detection distribution as well, and that'll hopefully keep down the number of fires, potentially. But those show times and a half and guide citizens to more sustainable water use by soil and water meters in buildings. Same with power. All right, let's turn on all three of these policies for now. Hopefully that will cut consumption, and then we won't have to put as much money into it in the first place. So, yeah, I think that's a good thing to do. Okay, so we're in a bit of a pickle here. I kind of like let it run for a little bit and turns out that we just absolutely hemorrhaged money. I think it was probably the, all the policies that we put in place here. So I'm not going to take the bailout. Money is starting to come back. We, we're starting to like almost break even again here. Um... The problem I have is looking at the zoning. I mean, we could zone some more here. Maybe, we, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and zone some residential areas like here and here, just because there's such a high demand for it. And then we'll put a few more commercial areas in here, here. Let's fill up some of these 
little spaces here. But yeah, I, I don't want to raise taxes. I don't want to take the bailout. We we were down to almost like nearly two two grand a week we was losing. So let's see whether or not this these measures are enough to um, bring it back from the brink. We're tantalizingly close here to the next milestone. How many citizens do we need? We need another 75 citizens. Again, I, I didn't really want to do it, but I, I'm going to try and take the milestone option here, I think. Let's see if we can make this milestone. I didn't really want to keep building these blocky areas here like such, but I'm thinking if we can reach this milestone, that should um, give us enough funding then to get out of this little bind for the time being. Electricity is on the bubble, but we'll see. Okay, fantastic. We've reached the next population. We've got lots of new things to play around with here. We've got all these like decorations and these um, park-like areas, uh, canals. We've got some new roads. Um, level two unique buildings as well. So uh, yeah, okay, so we should now, uh, what's the next milestone? We need to another thousand population for the next milestone. That's going to be interesting. All right, so that has helped us out in the short term here. We are back in the positive, at least. And we are only losing $215 a month at the minute. I tell you what, I'm going to tax industry a little bit more. And you know what? Let's put the tax on commercial up a little bit as well. Okay, let's. I'm going to play this out. Hopefully, we can get back into the green and everything will start to um, look a bit healthier. Okay, all of a sudden we just we was we was make we was doing well, and now all of a sudden we are completely hemorrhaging money again. And I'm not sure where it's coming from. I think I'm going to turn off smoke detector and water usage, just for the simple fact that I think we're all right. But it's only really power usage that I'm really concerned about at the minute. So let's do this, and then we'll see how this pans out and whether or not this improves the situation. And almost instantly, look, that, look how much money that has saved. Okay, so that that's interesting. I mean, we've... What's our water usage at? Water usage is about breaking even. Electricity is okay. Okay, things are starting to look a little bit better and a little bit more healthy now. There we are, dropping again now. Okay, well, I think that's probably a good place to leave this. Um, we've got a good start. We're kind of breaking even a little bit. I think we're we're kind of plateauing a bit here with our monthly income, but we've got a nice steady amount coming in at the minute. We're almost up to 20,000, which is really good. So yeah, in the next episode, I think we need to kind of work on some amenities to try and improve the happiness of our residents. And then maybe we're going to try and branch out and create some different areas and try and get away from this whole grid-like building. As always, so guys, if you have got any suggestions or any ideas that you think I should try and do or try and include in this series, please do let me know. It'd be really interesting to hear what you guys think because, like I say, I'm really a noob at this. I don't fully know what I'm doing. I'm just throwing myself in the deep end. So if you think that I'm doing something or that I'm missing something and I should be doing something, please do let me know in the comments and I will try and take it on board. But thank you very much, everybody, for watching. I'm going to stop the, uh, the time progression right here as we start a brand new year. It is now 2024. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, I've been not giving awesome. Take care, stay safe and happy gaming. Bye, guys.